Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I had posted on my community tab about the latest book from Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, it's called Fantasy Beauties. You can either get the PDF or you can order the printed one. Now, I will tell you right now, I love her printed ones. Um, amazing paper, great everything. Uh, I just am impatient. <laughs> so, I went with the PDF. But for those of you that want a printed copy, it's well worth the price and the wait. Um, <clears throat> but I did have a request by one of my subscribers if I would flip through it uh, just to show what's in it. And I have no problem doing that. So anytime I show a PDF book that I'm about to buy, feel free to ask if I'll do a flip through. Uh, I printed the whole thing out. It's quite thick, actually. Uh, what I plan to do is I have these report covers. Remember back in the day, you know, for those of us older generations, <laughs> um, you would have these report slip covers. So it's got the plastic front and back, and then you slide the little binder thing on. So I plan to put it in there when I'm done. And the reason I do that now, instead of binding my books, is because I like to take the page out and work on it individually. I just don't want to fuss with binding. That said, I do have a cinch. I could bind it. <clears throat> I honestly need to sell the cinch. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. It's honestly out of pure laziness. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. So this is the cover page. Now I have printed everything on my Nina 110 pound cardstock because it takes water well and pencil. And this page is next. And this is the order they come in in the book. So you got like these little grayscale images. And then we have a cover that you can color. All right. So let's dive in. This is actually really pretty. I've seen most of them because I was scanning through as I was putting it together. This one is absolutely luscious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is gorgeous as well. I swear she just gets better and better, doesn't she? I didn't know she had another one in the making. That which one came out in October? Oh, look at that. So I will leave a link in the description below to the book. I like this one. I hate that it got cut off, though. This could be my printer setting, but I doubt it because it looks like these got cut off, too. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description below to the PDF um, on her Etsy. You can also buy the printed one, like I said, worth every penny. Look at this one. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to color that one. It might be one of the first I tackle. And then I'll leave a link to the paper I use. If you do opt to print on a PDF, this is the paper I like for pencils. Now. One side is smooth, the other side is a wee bit toothier, so you can actually print it on the toothier side if you like that. They just recently did that, it used to just be smooth on both sides. It screwed me up a few times, <laughs> I had to figure out which way to put it in my printer, because <laughs> uh, I like the smooth side. But it takes water really well. This one reminds me of the one in her fairy book, but it's gorgeous. And then, yeah, I will leave a link to the report covers as well. I've had a few of you ask about those because I use them quite often for PDF books and collections. Aren't these awesome? They all have gorgeous hair, so you know I'm going to dive all over that. Like this one. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I do. Her art is just... You know, her initial works were pretty too, but I swear it's just ever since she released that like candy one and so on, I've been in love. I like this one too. <clears throat> beautiful. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? She's one where I will pretty much always buy her books without a doubt. Like, I will be using, uh, you know, her for mermaid. She's perfect. She's got several mermaid ones. And then you get a little gray scale special. 
at the end of the book. So you could color this. And then you also have this image here in grayscale. It's a darker grayscale, but not too bad. This one here in grayscale. And then this one here, which I think is my favorite of the grayscale ones. But yeah, that is the latest from Mystic Art Mirrors called Fantasy Beauties. And like I said, I plan to just put it in my report cover so that I can pull out each page. But I was so excited when this popped up on Etsy. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so she just sneaks those things in there. But let me know if you would like to see any color alongs or anything like that. Or if you have any questions about uh, binding options. But like I said, I've kind of stopped binding and using those report covers because I like to just pull out a page at a time. But this is the latest book, so now you know what it looks like and everything that is in there. And hopefully you guys get this because I really like this one. But I know her PDFs can be expensive. Um, I think it's still like 20-something bucks for the PDF. But you're getting a ton of pages in here. Um worth everything you also got she sends in this uh, packet there was a postcard as well that you could print out if you wanted and send to someone but I think it's worth every penny and then if you prefer a printed one I have bought them in the past and I've shown them in my hauls she sends loads of freebies with her printed books they are packaged carefully and they are just stunning so they're worth every penny and the weight as well. I'm just so impatient and I had seen some of these images and was like, I want to color it now. <laughs> so, and then it's mermaid. So I'm like, oh crap, maybe I won't be able to. Gosh darn it. Darn those hashtags. But hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, until next time, take care. Bye now.